ALT, AST, ALP, and GGT refers to enzymes that are found within the liver and the biliary tract. The levels of these enzymes are measured as part of a liver function test. Elevation in the levels of these enzymes can indicate different pathologies, including liver disease. Let's go over the basics of how to interpret the ALT, AST, ALP, and GGT levels. This is an important aspect of interpreting a liver function test. So again, we're going to discuss the basics of liver function tests. So one of the enzymes that is measured in the liver function test is the ALT enzyme level. Another enzyme that is measured is the AST enzyme. Another enzyme that is measured is ALP. ALP stands for alkaline phosphatase. And finally, one of the other key enzymes that is measured in a liver function test is the GGT enzyme levels. GGT stands for gamma glutamyl transferase. A very important point to remember about these enzymes is that the levels of these enzymes do not tell you anything about the function of the liver. On the other hand, elevation of these enzymes could indicate damage to the liver or the biliary system or both. So when you are trying to interpret the levels of these enzymes, it is best to think of the liver function test as a liver damage test, as elevation of these enzymes indicates some form of damage to the liver, biliary system, or both. It's also important to note that these enzymes can also be elevated when there is damage to other parts of the body, and we will discuss that. Let's start off by discussing the location of these enzymes. The ALT enzymes are very specific to the liver. So the ALT enzymes are mainly found within the hepatocytes of the liver. The AST enzymes can also be found within the liver, but it is less specific to the liver compared to the ALT enzymes. The AST enzyme can also be found in muscle tissue, specifically skeletal and cardiac muscle. The ALP enzyme is not located within the hepatocytes of the liver. It is located within the biliary system, so it can be found within the cells that line the biliary ducts within the liver and outside the liver. The ALP enzyme is not just found within the biliary system. The ALP can also be found in bone tissue as well as in the placenta of a pregnant woman. And finally, the GGT is very specific to the biliary system. So unlike the ALP, which can be found in different tissues in the body, the GGT is very specific to the biliary system, so it is found within the cells lining the bile ducts. Now that we know the main locations of these enzymes, let's discuss the significance of these enzymes when they are raised. A raised ALT indicates some form of liver damage. Now, as we said, the ALT enzymes are mainly located within the hepatocytes of the liver. So when there is damage to the hepatocytes of the liver, the ALT enzymes will leak out of the hepatocytes into the blood, and this will cause a raised ALT. Because the ALT enzymes are very specific to the liver, a raised ALT is highly specific to liver damage. So whenever there is any type of liver damage, the ALT levels will typically be raised. There are many causes of liver damage, and the ALT will typically be raised when there is any form of hepatitis or inflammation of the liver. The AST enzymes are also found within the liver. So again, when there is some form of liver damage, the AST enzymes will also be raised. But unlike the ALT enzymes, the AST enzymes are not only found in the liver. So the AST levels can also be increased when there is some form of muscle damage. For example, if a patient has rhabdomyolysis, which refers to skeletal muscle breakdown. As the AST enzymes are found within the cardiac muscle as well, if a patient has a myocardial infarction, the AST levels can also go up. So unlike the ALT enzymes, the AST enzyme is not as specific for liver damage, and the AST levels can also increase in other situations. The ALP enzyme, on the other hand, is not located within the hepatocytes of the liver, so it will not specifically increase when there is hepatocyte damage. As the ALP is located within the biliary system, whenever there is some form of cholestasis, which refers to a reduction or a blockage in the flow of bile through the biliary system, this will increase the pressure within the biliary system as bile is not able to flow properly. And this pressure will lead to damage of the cells lining the bile ducts. And as the ALP enzymes are located within the cells lining the bile ducts in the biliary system, the ALP enzymes will leak into the blood. And this is why 
a raised ALP is highly indicative of cholestasis within the biliary system. As we discussed earlier, the ALP enzymes are not only located within the biliary system, they are also located within the bones. As the ALP is located within the bone, when there are situations of increased bone breakdown, the ALP levels will increase. There are many conditions which lead to increased bone breakdown. Some of these conditions include Paget's disease of the bone, vitamin D deficiency, bony metastases, renal osteodystrophy, or a primary bone tumor. But the key point to remember is that when there is increased bone breakdown, the ALP levels will increase. And finally, because the ALP enzymes can be found in the placenta, there can be an increase in ALP levels during pregnancy. Now finally, let's talk about the GGT enzymes. We said that the GGT enzymes are very specific to the biliary system. So whenever there is a situation of cholestasis, the GGT enzymes will typically be raised. The GGT enzymes are much more specific for cholestasis compared to the ALP enzymes. So when there is an increase in both ALP and GGT enzymes, this is highly suggestive that the patient has some form of cholestasis. If there is just an isolated increase in ALP, but the GGT levels are not raised, then this suggests that the cause of the raised ALP is not due to cholestasis, because if there was cholestasis, the GGT enzyme level would also be raised. So in situations of an isolated increase in ALP levels, this likely means that the patient has some form of increased bone breakdown in the body, or if the patient is a woman, it could suggest that the patient is in the middle of her pregnancy. Another point to remember is that even though the ALT and AST enzymes are not located within the biliary system, whenever there is some form of cholestasis, this can eventually lead to liver damage. So in situations of cholestasis, the ALP and GGT enzymes will increase initially, but over time, the cholestasis can lead to liver damage, and this can increase the ALT and AST enzymes later on. An isolated increase in GGT could suggest alcohol use. So an isolated increase in GGT could indicate recent alcohol use. Now that we've summarized the key points related to the enzymes, let's now discuss some special relationships. An AST to ALT ratio of greater than 2 is highly suggestive of alcoholic liver disease. So in alcoholic liver disease, the AST generally increases much more compared to the ALT. But remember, because there is liver damage, the levels of both enzymes will typically increase. There are many mechanisms which have been proposed to explain why the AST increases much more than the ALT. But again, just remember, the ratio is typically greater than 2. Another key point to remember is the causes of an ALT or AST greater than 1000 international units per liter. There are very few conditions which will lead to such an increase in the ALT or AST values. But one of the major causes to remember is ischemic hepatitis. Ischemic hepatitis refers to conditions which will lead to ischemia to the liver and then this leads to inflammation. This is the major cause of a significantly increased ALT or AST and the values can typically be in the thousands. Another cause of an ALT or AST greater than 1000 international units per liter is a paracetamol overdose. Other conditions which can lead to a significantly raised ALT or AST is severe viral hepatitis or severe autoimmune hepatitis. But in both these conditions, typically the values will not go above 1000 international units per liter. So the main causes of an ALT or AST greater than 1000 international units per liter is ischemic hepatitis and paracetamol overdose. And that is a summary of how to interpret the ALT, AST, ALP and GGT values in liver function tests.